Michael Faraday was an English scientist known for his work with electricity, magnetism, and electrochemistry. In 1821, Faraday was appointed Assistant Superintendent of the House of the Royal Institution of Great Britain. Faraday's lab was in the basement of the Royal Institution, and many of his tools and experimental apparatus are on display there today. Here in the basement of the Royal Institute of Great Britain, we see the original volt ammeter that was built by Michael Faraday to the major amount of electricity that was required to break apart compounds into their individual elements. This is a tube that John Tyndall used to study the atmospheric scattering of light, showing why the sky is blue. This is one of the first electric batteries ever built. It was built by Alessandro Volta and given to Michael Faraday in 1799. This is the original electromagnet that Michael Faraday used to show that light and glass can be affected by magnetic fields. This is Michael Faraday's magnetic laboratory where he studied the properties of many different compounds until he passed away in 1867. After Faraday's death, the lab became a storeroom. In the mid-1930s, construction work was required to ensure the structural integrity of the building. The laboratory was carefully dismantled, then reconstructed precisely as found on the same site. All the objects on display, with the exception of the oil lamp, were used by Faraday in his lab in the Royal Institution of Great